the Bearcat. In my opinion, this looks like the absolute perfect mix between the T28 Trojan and the Hellcat. And this was actually designed in real life to fly off of aircraft carriers, which is really cool, but it has flown kind of under the radar and hasn't gotten a lot of love compared to planes like the Corsair and the P-51 Mustang. But today, we're gonna give it some love. This is the Arrows Hobby Bearcat. Comes in right under $200, and if this flies well, then it'll be linked in the description box below. Today, we're gonna to do a maiden flight of this. It went together extremely quickly, very easily. I was able to do this while listening to Space Unicorn and playing Blocks with Amelia. <laughs> so if I can do that, you can put this together too. Super easy to slap together. And uh, the only issue I had, which was a very small one, word to the wise, the removable fuel tank on the bottom that does just slide on and off with that little awesome rail system. The plastic rail on mine just wasn't glued on very well. I barely bumped it and it came unglued and I noticed that there was like no glue under there. So maybe give yours just a little tug and if it pulls off then uh, you can add a little dab of hot glue which is what I did. If you wanna know what hot glue I use, I'll have a link to the description box below. It's very reliable and always gets the job done. Let's admire this. Ah, it does look good, doesn't it? And I love the orange stripe on the back. That's gonna be great for orientation while we're flying our RC plane. Uh, attention to detail down to the rivets, the four bladed prop, and take a nice close look at the prop system here. I love the weighted screw on the end, but then also these two plastic pieces that fit together that house the four bladed prop there. I think it's just absolutely beautiful. That looks cool and it went together extremely well. And did I mention we have flaps and retracts? Nice. Okay, this is a really nice airplane for the price. I think that's enough gabbin. Let's just put this in the air. Tell you what guys, it doesn't matter if it's a $500 EDF or if it's a $100 airplane, maidens always make me nervous. You know, you want them to go well. And uh, let's just see before we maiden it how this taxis. It actually looks like it taxis really good. Can it turn on a dime? Yes, it's a pretty sharp turn, which I always appreciate. Ooh, look at that. Look at the spinner. If it catches the sun at the right angle, that is shiny. And then the edge of the props looks so good when it's spinning. <laughs> let's go half flaps. And I'm ready for takeoff if you are. Yep. A little bit of right rudder on that takeoff and that really makes for a nice smooth climb. Okay, we're gonna do a silhouette raising of the landing gear. And then hopefully I can fly over on the other side. Here's zero throttle, let's see how this does. Three, two, one. Oh, nice. nice. Oh. Look at that glide. <laughs> <laughs> okay, safe off and climb. Whoa. <laughs> okay, here we go, let's go for a loop. Are you ready to chase? Mm -hmm. And can we roll it? Yeah, the roll rate is super high on this. I like that a lot. So that's not Shoo! scale, but I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, more silhouette over there, but that sunset looks so good. Actually, it flies really well at low throttle. I'm pretty surprised the glide tendency of this is so nice. Um, you said maybe you can see a little more detail on this side. Is that true or not now because of time of day? Yeah, this is better. If you okay. fly well, left to right I'll on this try side. try to keep it over here. Yeah. You know us RC pilots, we like to go left to right one certain way usually. <laughs> I can, I can, eh, okay, hurts the brain, but we got it. <laughs> oh man. You used to only fly and use. For a long I did time. for a I long time. Yeah, you because only did use. Airfield was so short, and I just liked flying that U pattern a lot. Sorry, I should give you a warning. I got stuff. it. I'm a professional. You I are got a this. <laughs> you definitely got this. This plane flies great, you guys. If you like the Trojan but don't like yellow, white, or orange, I say the Bearcat is basically a T28 Trojan. I mean, at least in RC 
form. You know, it flies just like a Trojan. Uh, the four-bladed prop is super nice for low end. Someone asked me this. Let's talk about this. There's a recent video we did that had a three-bladed prop, and they said, well, for efficiency, why wouldn't you want a two-bladed prop always? And the answer is sometimes on the low end, you want a bit more torque, okay? And so like lower RPMs, it gives you a bit more torque. You can punch out of things a little easier with more blades, but yeah, you do lose efficiency. So they also look way cooler. <laughs> the more blades, the cooler the prop looks, right. I think. Yes. <laughs> Uh, you get it. I get it. You get it. So why the person asked? Maybe they just don't know how cool it is. <laughs> so this is a 3S battery. I don't know if I mentioned that or not, but for the 3S, it's performing really, really good. I would say really, really scale. Uh, it does say on the box and probably online that you can fly a little sporty, but honestly, this plane likes to fly scale if you guys haven't been able to figure that out. Um, I like the flight characteristics of this. It does have a little bit of climb in it, um, and that's probably my issue, not the airplanes. I think I just need to push out the push rod a little bit more on the ground because I have it fully trimmed on my radio and it still wants to climb just a hair. So what I'm doing is making a little adjustments while I'm flying. I'm kind of pushing the airplane down some. So for a maiden, I'll take it. But that's why we made an airplane. So we want to know, does it need any specific trimming done to fly perfectly? And for me, it does need a little bit more down. But it's flying good. Sounds good too. Let's mm -hmm. get a nice fly, fly by. And I think it looks good and scale. And for a warbird, this is a blast. Here we go. Little squirrely. That's what I want out of a warbird. This is perfect. I mean, it's it's what I would want. As I said, it needs a touch of trimming to fly perfectly, but for a maiden, uh, I couldn't be any happier. This is an old 3S 2200 milliamp battery with an XT60 plug, and you could fly any old receiver in here that you wanted to, because right now there's no wind. So AS3X isn't doing much for me at all. Um, this could be a tactic receiver or anything with safe on check this out with at least how I have it set up Boom safe is on and it sure does like to climb so I have to push it down <laughs> even more now climb is better than nose down uh, But you know if you were a new pilot the way I have this set up What I did was just yank it out of another airplane and that's not the proper way to set it up But it's getting the job done and if I panicked and I threw that switch That hands-free is better than the opposite uh, direction. So I'm gonna throw safe off because I think I just really enjoy flying this. You're at five minutes. Perfect, okay. Um. Well, I could fly longer than five minutes. I'm very confident in that because this speed right here is about 45% throttle, if I'm trying to be exact. And I feel like that's its comfortable zone. I could get up to about 60% or so, and it cruises nicely too. But if you want this to fly nice and scale, that doesn't need to be full throttle. It really does a great job. Um, yeah, let's give a couple more flybys and then we'll put it on the ground and um, see how we can do on a landing. Flies great though. I mean, I'm really happy with this. Good size airplane too, fits right in the car. You gonna do any inverted? Uh, sure, why not? <laughs> Goodbye uh, airplane. Maybe, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Might just nosedive in the ground before I go up. <laughs> Upside down. Oh, okay. Yeah, I forgot. I have a little bit of uh, opposite uh, direction. <laughs> its brain can't words come out backwards. It's okay. When I'm flying upside down. <laughs> You're allowed to be quiet. Flies upside down really good. I just don't. Oh, 
What what if you... my landing gear? <laughs> That's what I was just going to Here we go. They're out. They're out. I did it. I was literally about to say, what if you did your landing gear while you were upside down? That was awesome. <laughs> Safe on for this landing. Oh, we're creepy sometimes. That, our that was weird. thought process. You that just weird. you start talking, so it's your video, so I Whatever. let you speak Something first. Video. I mean, bear cat. Pat I haven't flaps. shown my face in this video. That's true. Is it because you have makeup oh, on? I, or not? I don't have makeup okay, on. Here we go. Everybody, focus. Shh, everyone in the comments, be quiet for a minute. I gotta land. Shh, 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 shh. Safe is on. I don't know what that was. A <laughs> trash can or something. Yeah. Well, oh, little bounce, but I'll take that. That was bad. nice. That was pretty nice. I came in just a little bit fast, but honestly, really happy with that. Guys, Bearcat, that was a very awesome maiden flight. I really like this airplane. That's a lot of features on this plane for under 200 bucks. Of course, you need your own receiver, but um, yeah, I'm really happy. I'm really happy with the blue Trojan T28. Am I right about that? It really does really does look like that except for the front end maybe the cowl looks a little different and uh you just made a lot of people mad no no i love the bear cat no <laughs> don't say that it's it's a really good airplane uh I've, this is my first bear cat i've actually had quite a few t28s it's my first bear cat so of course i'm going to make that connection and i think people can see the resemblance um but if, yeah, it's a bear cat flies great now this is the arrows bear cat and we'll have a link in the description box below what you could do is click our link of course we're going to get a little bit of credit for that if you buy it through our link and we thank you if you do that you guys know me maiden flights always make me just a little bit nervous knees are shaking i'm wobbling and uh i <laughs> it doesn't matter like like i said right before takeoff it's a thousand dollar airplane or a hundred dollar airplane anything in between I think that I feel a lot more comfortable because I have AMA, which is the Academy of Model Aeronautics. That insurance is just like a security blanket for me when I'm flying, and I really wouldn't consider flying without it anyway. I love the monthly magazines that I get in the mail. Nice, good read. And just recently, they, uh, they combined with a drone app. I'll look into it a little bit more and link the article uh, in the description box below so you guys can learn a bit more about that. But basically, it is like a 30 or 40 dollar annual subscription that is now just completely enrolled in and tied into your AMA subscription which I think is really cool it's just another another bonus another perk for being an AMA member so I just like to encourage safe flying and hopefully you guys appreciate that because I want to see our hobby thrive and succeed <laughs> did you just hit your head on the I did plane? yeah is the plane okay? Of course fly. And are you okay? I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see the hobby thrive and succeed for as long as possible. Stupid fly. Uh, yeah, everything is linked in the description box below from my radio, receiver, batteries, everything that I'm flying on. And a massive thanks to the big guy upstairs for a successful maiden today, just in time, right before sunset. Also, a huge thanks to our Patreon supporters, uh, some of our favorite people in the world. Thank you guys so much for just supporting our channel. Even if you're not a Patreon supporter, just watching and liking and commenting, you are awesome. We'll have another one of my favorite Warbird videos popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.